Okay. Hi, welcome to the uh, September 21st edition of the Evolution Working Group meeting. We are, um, we just, we're gonna go through issues real quick and we just merged a quick PR that we talked about last week, updating the README to standardization. Um, yeah, that's where we are. And the only other thing we have is uh, just to work on, on new metrics. So we may we may save that for next time. Yeah, the the code. I'm sorry, it's not code changes. It's uh, uh, which which metric is that the. Uh, the change request commits metric is probably, yeah, that one's going to happen pretty fast, I think, once we once we do it. Yeah, it, so it would, had quite a lot of work into it, it looked like. Yeah, and it's a, uh, it's a pretty basic activity metric, so we don't really have to, we don't really have to do a lot of work defining it, because it just, it just exists. So I would I would hold off on that one just for the simple fact that we're in the freeze right now, and we I don't know that we can move this forward until we're until we're through the freeze. The emoji reactions one. Uh, this one does require. I think this one requires some uh, some thought. I agree because we had quite a lot of discussion about it last time. And yeah, and I'm, and I'm afraid, and I'm afraid when it comes up again, I'm probably going to push back against it again. Uh, because I just I don't uh, the context for emojis is difficult, so the I'm not sure I'm not sure how we can handle this one because you know the the different emojis or uh, icons kind of mean different things. So counting counting these icons doesn't really I'm not sure what that tells us, other than uh, it's maybe just another. I could be the the same as counting com, uh, comments, right? Like so, the number of comments or the the number of emoji reactions, I suppose, is something that uh, we could count. Uh, but understanding the emoji reactions, uh, I think, is a little more difficult for us to talk about. I think that's where we landed on last time, where you know maybe it's not our job to interpret, just to count them. You know, because each project may have their own kind of culture around yep. the usage of them, so we could leave it to the project to interpret how they how they will. But um, you know, just the counting of them, I think I think matters because um, you know they would otherwise have been a comment or some kind of interaction, and that's what we're trying to kind of just um, keep track of is that 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 interaction piece right there. Yeah, so I agree Nature. with that statement, and I th and I think that's a little bit of. Yeah, I agree with that statement for sure, and I think that's a little little bit of the argument that I've made in the past as well. However, if we do look at the emoji reactions uh, document, the description we have in there right now is this is a uh, oh I'm sorry that's the template. Ah. <laughs> I uh, think so. This resulted in the creation of a new metric that is emoji. But that we that we need to work on in the future. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're talking about the metric. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
perhaps we should just see, I'm tempted to just take one of them and take the emoji reactions and maybe try to drop some text into it for the next meeting. Uh, but I'm also a little bit ready to take on any new uh, tasks right now. <laughs> I feel that vibe. <laughs> uh, for me, maybe it's a little bit until after ChaosCon for me. Um, Well, I tell you what, why don't we wait on this? And there's also only three of us. It's, it's a little better if we have a little bit bigger of a group, if that's possible. Um, so maybe we just kind of hold on to this and, and think about it, let it marinate. And if, you know, Kevin, if you do find you have the little extra time and you want to work on it, knock yourself out, you know, but I, we won't commit you to that. Like, okay. you know. I mean, unless we want to take some time right now to, to drop some thoughts in there, um, it's totally up to you guys. I'm fine with whatever. So I'm peeking through the uh, agenda notes from last week. Yeah, it looks it looks like that the discussion around the emoji one is kind of that's happening there. Okay. Yeah. We could actually we could actually just grab that uh uh there's a line in there. It's the number of emoji that signal attention to communication or contributions within a project. That's the that's the key line, right? Yeah. And the so that we can add that we can at the very least we can add that to our description. Yeah, it's in the description. <laughs> oh, is it? It's in the description. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sean, I think added it. Somebody did. Oh, I must have pulled I pulled up the wrong. I must have been looking at the other document. This is the right one, right? We're in this. I think you're in yep. this thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm in it now. Yeah. Okay. Number of emoji reactions on any Git platform object. What is a what is a Git platform object? I am not sure about that. With a reaction feature enabled. I don't, yeah, I don't like that language at all. Yeah, that's really confusing. <laughs> that's pretty confusing. Uh, oh, there we go. Known objects include change requests, change, blah, blah, blah. But I, no one, yeah. we don't, we don't, we don't ever use that. We don't use that language anywhere else. And I don't know that, uh, so I moved that, that sentence to the top because I think that's the most accurate sentence currently. So the number yeah. of emoji that signal attention to communication or contributions within a project. Yeah. So that sentence is the most accurate. I mean, really, that's that's all that needs to be said, right? Yeah. <laughs> like we're, all we're doing is counting emojis. Known objects include change requests, change. Yeah, I don't understand what that is. Yeah, to your point, we've never used that word objects, I don't think, before in any. No, no. Uh, the number of emoji that signal attention to communication or contributions within a project. So these are, and they, they the, 
the signal attention bit is is pretty important. Mm -hmm. So that language has actually been used in a lot of academic literature to describe what these emoji are. They are they are signals signals of attention. Uh, so that that actually is connected to. Uh, 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 some pretty heavy duty uh, literature on that. Do we want to put that under objectives here? Um, oh, I should be suggesting that. Um, why are they important? Because they help measure engagement or? Uh, so they, they can help measure engagement. They provide, uh, they provide a mechanism for uh, uh, um, uh, providing uh, uh, agreement or, or uh, agreement or approval in transparent, uh, in transparent development processes. That's not great language, but the, so it's a, it's a, it's a transparent way of providing agreement and approval uh, in, in open source development. Does that seem like what you were saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we need to. So, I mean, they can also show disagreement or uh, uh, disapproval. Uh, okay. But, but generally speaking, uh, uh, yes, provide a transparent mechanism for showing uh, attention, I suppose. Attention, agreement. No, Can I, we I stay here uh, under under objective should, or description? Should we say something about um, this metric does not aim to attach any interpretation? I think that that, 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 that bit the the bit that you just put in mm -hmm. might actually fit better uh, in the description. Uh, so and then so the the objectives. Yeah, I should say well, that's first, in the description. Yeah, first I suppose we could. Uh, so since the since the DEI objective is always is on our checklist, and we always want to focus there. Maybe let's start with what the DEI objective of measuring signals of attention are. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, emoji reactions. So uh, one thing that emoji reactions could help with understanding is uh, how welcoming a community is, I suppose. Uh, uh, positive, positive emoji reactions and the time to first response and, and, and emoji reactions uh, looking at used as a, as a first response can indicate how welcoming a community is. Uh, any thoughts on that? So uh, I just a question. Where do we address the DI concern in the description in the objectives? objectives. So in, in the objectives. So the uh, the the purpose of the objective se section is to provide a couple kind of short use cases. 
okay. for the metric, right? So emoji, uh, so, so for example, we can say measuring, uh, measuring emoji uh, reactions may provide uh, insight into the uh, into how welcoming a community so, is so maybe we how move, welcoming a so maybe broad, we move this uh, paragraph to the objective section this paragraph which paragraph uh, let me move it I've moved it. Oh yes, yeah. Who was who was writing that? Was that uh, Elizabeth was writing it, and I have just moved it from description to the objective. That's where I asked, like. Where do we address those concerns? Is it a description or is it objective? I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't see you type in that, Elizabeth. That was... That's okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I agree that 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 does that would go in objectives. Uh, positive emoji reactions. So as as signals of approval, as signals of approval, they act as a coordinating mechanism. Uh, so there's a there's a component of governance involved. Uh, not sure what measuring them would tell us about the coordination or governance of a project, though. Because the so emojis can kind of they can kind of act as uh, especially the uh, like a thumbs up emoji is kind of a green light right if you propose to do something or if you create a pull request a uh, a thumbs up emoji is kind of a green light to proceed so getting that getting that that thumbs up from a maintainer uh, is a is is it becomes a, a coordinating mechanism or, or also, getting... oh sorry yeah, no sorry i'm just no i was just gonna say i've also been in, in communities where the rocket was used to say ship it you know yep. like yep. launch or, it or fast track it or yeah yeah so again we kind of get back to that interpretation of like what's the project culture how yep. do they you know so it so they, they can be used to provide positive support. And I think they can also be used to provide uh, coordination, and which as, a, as kind of a, a project governance, right? It's, it's almost like, a, yeah, a, a rocket or a thumbs up is permission to, permission to move forward, right? Where do we wanna say that? 
I th so I think I think it might still fit in objectives, but I'm not sure. Uh, Uh, but I'm not sure what the value of counting uh, there is. Yeah, maybe it's just, so maybe it's a, uh, so above we have, uh, they can help us understand how welcoming community is. So maybe below that paragraph, we also have uh, emoji, emoji reactions can help us understand how a project is governed. And it does kind of complicate things that <laughs> GitLab basically lets you do any emoji as a reaction. <laughs> so like, uh, like, how do you, uh, I mean, I, all you can do is count them and let that project, I guess. Uh, that's going to go this... down in objectives as well, Vinod. Okay. So does it, does this really capture your thought? That's what I'm trying to ask. So like so, emoji. Yeah, good. Yeah, emoji reactions help us to understand how a project is governed by assessing the coordination mechanism uh, through emoji. Uh, so I think the sentiment is there. We can we can clean up the sentence a little bit. Uh, maybe a for example here. Uh, yeah. For example, uh, the the thumbs up emoji. Uh, provides may may provide uh, consent mechanism, mechanism. What's that? Consent mechanism. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, consent or uh, permission. Yeah, consent or to approval. move uh, forward. Uh, with a uh, it's a task or goal. With a task, yeah, something like that. Yep. Here's a yeah. question for you all. Would we also care about reactions to other um, other communication channels such as Slack? Or I think so. Okay. Yes. Yes, we do. Yeah, I think we can put that in the maybe the that's filter. the discussion section. Maybe okay. in the filters of uh, checking emojis through different channels of communication. Types of emojis, platform. Yeah, we have the platform where they occur. So I think this captures uh, emojis on a different platform. Oh, yeah, that's already a filter. Yep. Uh, does an activity, how, how many reactions does an activity have? Uh, maybe activity or a task because we are using yeah we use task. we use we use task before or we but, use task down below we use activity above so those I are probably synonymous so yes or so i'm going to change that bottom one to activity uh, to an activity yeah totally agree OK. 
Okay. Oh, oops. Sorry, I don't have my uh I haven't changed much, hopefully. I'm feeling, uh, I am feeling a lot better about this, uh, uh, this metric. Yes, I think this is in a good shape now. We just need a few pairs of eyes on this. I've, I've been a little uncomfortable with it in the past, and I, I'm feeling... I'm feeling better about it now. Yeah. yeah, I think it's good. I wonder, I wonder if it would be, I wonder if we should reach out to uh, reach out to someone who has given uh, kind of the, the emoji uh, considerable thought. Uh, I know, uh, so I know Remy, Remy the cause maker yeah. uh, is, uh, he kind of, he does a lot of stuff with chaos. Uh, and he was, uh, uh, when he was with Twitter, I believe he was part of the uh, part of the project that uh, 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 part of the open source project that that helped define emoji or create emoji. Uh, so I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering if it'd be helpful to reach out to him and get his opinion on this metric. Uh, Seems like a good idea. Kevin, don't forget to add your name to the contributors also. Uh, if you want. <laughs> sure. Where's that at? Uh, maybe we should make a note in the agenda. Uh, so, uh, I think Sean is, would be a good person to have ask, uh, maybe to ask Remy to join us for a meeting, maybe. Sounds good. I added it in there. I gave Sean an action item. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love to do that to people when they're not here. Like that's what. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sean. Sorry, Sean. Yeah. He's he's technically my boss. So. Uh, Sean is. Yeah. So I I uh, I love uh, telling him what to do. <laughs> that's even better. Right. The yeah the same with uh well I mean Matt is. Matt is uh is very much my boss. So <laughs> maybe we can find something for him to do too. Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> are we still recording? We are. We can wait. I'll delete we need, this we need part to purge out. this. We need to purge this recording. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do we want to take a look at the next one? Do we want to get fifteen minutes back? What do you all want to do? I kind of vote for fifteen minutes back. Yeah, I will. I will third that motion. <laughs> I know it's a busy week for everybody. Yeah. Um, no. No. No complaints from me. 
So, all right, um, I will stop sharing. But there's still we developed a metric, so that's good. That's right. We did work today. <laughs> we're done. Are we, are we still recording? <laughs> we are. Yes. Oh, no, we're not. I stopped. Okay. Oh, no, I did. Uh, no, it's uh, still showing me.